guys, we got this new trap here. We're just gonna bait it with an apple and maybe some peanuts. All right, guys, we gotta bait it up a little bit. We got some apples laying around, some apples in the back, and then just a little trail going to the back. Um, we got some peanuts in the back too. Um, we just got it on in the woods. There's a few rabbit, and I know there's like squirrels that end up in these trees and stuff. So. We'll see what happens. Probably tomorrow or morning. Might be able to get something. Yeah, but it should be good for rabbits and squirrels. Do you want to show them how it works? Yeah, so yeah. basically it just walks in and then there's just a little table in the back and it stops on it, clamps mm. down. Done. So, yeah, it should be good. We'll let you guys know if we catch anything. Two days later. Alright guys, I was just on the checking the traps. This one, this one's too small. I don't think we're gonna get anything besides like a really small squirrel chipmunk. I don't know why it's closed or why it's over there, but it was like right there. Um, I'll get back with you guys when I'm at the next one. Alright guys, I'm just walking up on the trap right here, and we got this little squirrel here. It's actually pretty big. Um, we just had it set out in the woods. We just put some apples and um, peanuts in it. And we got them probably this morning. But yeah, it's a big squirrel. Um, we really have no use for this guy right now. I'm not gonna eat him right now. Um, probably just let him go real quick. Yeah, that's a nice squirrel. Um, if you guys do want to see like a catch and cook or something, we can make that happen. Yeah, but I'm not gonna dispatch this guy. I'm just gonna let him go in a minute, but yeah, so I'll just let him go. Stepped on it again. There he goes. Yeah, I knew there were squirrels up there. There he is right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this. There's still food, a little bit of car or apples in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I just got some peanuts here. Just toss them in the back. Um, yeah, these live traps are really nice because then you can decide what you want to do with them. Like, right now, I mean, I don't really want to skin up a squirrel and cook it because I just got home from school and stuff. But, yeah, let me guys know if you guys want to see that because we can make that happen this weekend probably. Um, yeah, it's better than snares and stuff because that'll kill them right away. But, and you don't know exactly what you're getting, but... Well, we should be able to get some rabbits in here too. We also have the same trap of these, but it's bigger for like raccoons and possums, so we might get that one out. Um, but yeah, we just got these from Tractor Supply. It was, we got this small one and the big one for only $20. So yeah, that was really nice. Um, we just got it baited up. Maybe this weekend we'll do a catch and cut. Just let us know what you wanna see. Then we'll, we might set the big one out for Raccoons, possums, and stuff. Um, they're up north where my property is. Next October, when the season starts back up again, we should. I want to do a lot of trapping. We got like bobcats up there too, and stuff. That would be awesome. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and catch us on the next one.